Hello, tech enthusiasts! Welcome back to Tech Place, the hub for all things science and technology in China. I'm Chen Chen. As we approach the end of another incredible year in the world of technology, it's time to take a look back at the most popular news about Chinese tech on CGTN that had our jaws dropping and eyes popping. You ready? Let's get into it. In the fifth spot on the list, we have a shape-shifting robot that can melt its way out of a cage. If you're already having visions of a war led by this Terminator-style bot and the power of AI, take a really deep breath. This is a magnetically controlled liquid metal for manufacturing robots developed together by Chinese and U.S. engineers. See, there's still a lot of collaborations going on between the two countries. It is called Magno Active Solid Liquid Phase Transitional Machines, or simply MPTM. And it's responsive to an alternating magnetic field. And you can, through induction, heat up the material and cause it to change its state. This type of material could come in handy for very intricate medical and engineering problems, such as removing an object in the stomach or delivering drugs on demand. It can also work as a smart soldering robot for wireless circuit assembly and repair, or morph into a universal mechanical screw to assemble parts in hard-to-reach spaces. Incredible engineering, right? And number four goes to Huawei's new phone with mobile satellite service. The phone specs are incredible, but the main highlight is its satellite phone call capability. It's a very novel phone feature, but one that has been getting a lot of attention. In 2022, Huawei introduced the Mate 50 series that can send messages using China's Beidou navigation satellite. And shortly after, Apple announced that its iPhone 14 series can send emergency messages via the Global Star satellite. But to have a smartphone make satellite phone calls is no easy. You see, traditional sat phones are either bulky or have very large antennas attached to receive powerful signals from the satellite. But Huawei designed its antenna and chipsets for the satellite function without compromising on the weight or build. Now, if you want to get your hands on Huawei's new phone and try out its satellite phone call services, check out my previous episode. Who knows, it might be just a lifesaver in case you find yourself in a flood. Just a thought, just a thought. From a phone that can save your life in extreme weather to a new transportation method that could save the planet. So in the third place is a China-produced hydrogen-powered smart tram exported to Malaysia, which has grabbed the attention of our readers. Now, mind you, this is a tram, not a train, which means it requires no rails and can realize autonomous driving by following the dash lines painted on the road. But the driver will still be on standby when the vehicle is in operation. The first tram exported has begun on-road testing since September in the Malaysian city of Kuching. A total of 38 trams will be delivered from China in batches over the coming two years. And they will be running on three lines across the city from 2025. The other news bit that made it to our top five is a fact check of a conspiracy on the science experiments conducted on the China space station. An Instagram user questioned if the footage from a science lecture by the Shenzhou 13 crew truly happened at the space station. I mean, the lecture itself dates back to 2021, and in the post, the person used that glass of water sitting up straight on a workbench to come to the conclusion that the entire video is fake. Everything should be floating in space. That lecture happened on Earth. And the post got over 36,000 likes as it morphed into a whole whirlwind of thoughts. But here's the thing. The Associated Press stepped in and interviewed experts to separate myth from fact. And guess what? The proclaimed gravity-defying water stunt is no Hollywood magic. It's basic science. Water molecules like to stick to glass and other water molecules instead of dispersing in the air. 
Plus, the video did show Tekkenets using strips to make the glass clean onto the table. Someone obviously didn't pay attention to the entire class. And just as the expert told AP, there is very little reason for China to fake the video. And finally, our most read Chinese tech news goes to the world's first all analog photoelectronic chip, or ACCEL, developed by China. You guys surely love chips. Now, what makes this chip so special is that it doesn't follow the traditional digital route of coding information, so no more zeros and ones. Instead, this group of engineers cracked the problem of combining the power of light and electricity using photons and electrons in an all-analog way. That makes the chip work more like a human brain, handling data in a smoother and faster manner. And it's crazily energy efficient. The team, led by Dai Chunghai from Tsinghua University, developed a prototype chip and will work toward making a general-purpose artificial intelligence chip for a broader range of applications. And that wraps up our most read tech news from China for 2023. Which tech revelation left your jaw on the floor? Jump into the comments and let me know your tech highlight of the year and what you're hoping to see in the tech world next year. And of course, I wish you all a happy and tech-tastic new year. This is Chen Chen. I'll see you in 2024. For more tech, please.